The Commonwealth coat of arms on a magenta bokeh background, the logo for the Australian government. As one, working together to transform the APS workforce. As one, the Australian Public Service Disability Employment Strategy aims to support the employment of people with disability in our large and diverse workforce. In this video, senior leaders share their experiences of creating inclusive and confident workplaces for people with disability. What does 100% commitment mean for APS leaders? Dr Ian Watt, AO, Department of the Prime Minister and Cabinet. 100% looks like someone who not just talks the talk, but walks the talk as well. Someone who encourages people with disability in the workplace. Someone who goes out of their way to make them, make them welcome. Someone who says, this is not a problem, this is an opportunity. And make sure that it is an opportunity. Why is it important for leaders to be engaged in disability issues? Michelle Cornish, Department of Education. I think it is so important for agencies to have senior disability champions. SES have so much um, power to do good things and it is so important as a role, to have those role models in the workplace so that people feel this is an environment where it's safe for example, to disclose that you have a disability. And it's also an environment where you will, you will get the reasonable adjustment that you require in order to stay employed. Mark Sweeney. Senior leaders have a, have a role in changing culture in the organisation. If, if senior leaders have an understanding and a commitment and also can promote um, well-being in the organisation, overall the organisation will be better for it. Um, doesn't mean to say that every leader at every level does not have a role, in fact they do. The most senior leaders have a role in promotion of this type of uh, activity though. Carmel McGregor. Leadership's fundamental in uh, shaping and changing a workforce, changing attitudes. People look to the leader uh, to set the tone, uh, expect them to be good role models and actually pave the way, get the settings, the policies right. Uh, and practice what they preach. Uh, so there couldn't be anything more important than having visible leadership around this issue. David Parker, AM, Environment. Look, I think in any organisation, uh, creating the environment, right, the right environment, the right culture, uh, has to start at the top. Uh, we had a mental health week uh, here uh, a little while ago. We had myself, and the secretary uh, and the minister come and talk at uh, an event open uh, to all staff about mental health uh, issues. Uh, we talked in a very open way and when you can create that open environment then people feel that they have the freedom to talk about, to talk about these things. Michelle Cornish. When I was in Centrelink I had the honour of being the disability champion which was a wonderful role as part of my people role and as SES, the Senior Executive Service has such a lot of power to make a difference in the decisions we make every day, in the way that we interact with our people and people in other teams. Philip Glide, Agriculture. I think it, um, in our experience it's someone who is at the senior level in the organisation who can help make things happen. It indicates, I think, that um, the department or the Australian Public Service is taking um, disability seriously. How can leaders build an inclusive culture? Mark Sweeney. I think the manager has the, the unique place in the workforce because the, the, the manager can actually influence the workforce by acceptance, by openness. If, that, if the manager does those things, then the workforce is likely to be the same way. If you're positive, people will be positive with you. If you're negative, then negativity will grow. Um, it's about how you can bring that positivity back into the workforce. Michelle Cornish. When I became a disability champion in Centrelink, one of the first things I did was attend a disability confidence program, one day program, and it was fantastic because it gave me confidence to talk with people in my workplace who had disability without feeling I was going to put my foot in it or I was going to embarrass them or myself or that it was awkward. It helped a lot. What is the role of a disability champion in the workplace? Michael Pinney, Australian Taxation Office. I 
think it's very important to have visibility for people championing these needs. And that's why in my case, I hook into workplace diversity readings by to ensure that these things are being championed, to use the cliche, I've been there and done that 27 years. I've managed to reach a fairly senior position in the ATO, and I think if someone like me can be visible and champion these things, it can only help encourage other managers to champion the workplace diversity. Carmel McGregor, Defence. Well, they need to lead. They need to have empathy and understanding. Keep, uh, keep abreast of things that are new policies, new ideas, um, see what's worked elsewhere, and ensure that uh, the people who are working with the champion or in the sort of line area are really um, energetic and focused on uh, making a difference, uh, keep uh, apprised of success and how that's translating to uh, increased uh, uptake of employees with disabilities, understanding where impediments are occurring and striving to get rid of them. Um, so it's a sort of multifaceted role, um, but important that uh, the champion really pursues the agenda as vigorously as they possibly can. Samantha Palmer, Health. I think it's important for champions to have a good relationship with the HR area and to also have a good relationship with the executive and the senior staff member of your organisation, whether that's a CEO or an agency head. And if you have that good relationship both with your senior executive and with your HR area, you've actually got an enormous amount of support and assistance that's available to you. But as a champion, you also need to find your own energy and make your own momentum. Uh, no one's going to do that for you. So um, what you can achieve as a champion is very much up to what you want to put in. As one, working together to transform the APS workforce, the Commonwealth coat of arms on a magenta bokeh background, the logo for the Australian Government.